Tyson, it's going to be okay. Hello and good morning friends from just outside of Shreveport, Louisiana. This is our next stop of this road trip. We just left Texas yesterday and last night we stayed at a Flying J truck stop. Forecast calls for it to rain all day today too. Fortunately, it's not like freezing or anything, but it does sort of kind of make things somewhat difficult. I'm really excited to show you what adventures we get up to today. Hopefully this rain doesn't change too much of it, but it's okay because it'll just make it that much more exciting, right? <laughs> I found Elvis Presley! <laughs> and apparently James Burton. Oh, hi. <laughs> cool! Oh no, <laughs> it's raining again. <laughs> oh, oh hey, we found a little pagoda. Cuteness. Oh gosh, I hear thunder. There are faces on this thing. Wild. Oh my gosh, so we were out by the Asian gardens over there just exploring and all of a sudden we could hear thunder. Tyson, I could hear thunder. <laughs> so we were out at the Asian gardens just trying to film and all of a sudden we heard thunder in the distance and then it just started pouring rain. And then I realized the rain was just getting much more intense. So I quickly had to pick Tyson up and then basically run back to the car. But I'm completely soaking wet from head to toe. Everything's wet. My shoes, which are not meant to get wet, are soaked. Poor little Tyson is just, he's very uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going to happen next, but we're just going to sit here for a minute and see if the rain dies down at all. Yeah, see, he's very, uh, he's not happy. <laughs> I'm gonna walk you Bunny and see how she's doing. Hey Bunny, <laughs> the rain sure came down real fast, huh? Yeah, so I wore my regular jacket that I normally wear whenever it's like a light rain, it's no big deal. This is not bad, this is not. My, my rain jacket looks like a puddle now. Because like there's so much water, why? It went from like dry to like, we live in a lake now, we are fish. <laughs> Oh 
Okay, Bunny and I just talked uh, for a little bit. We ha originally had a bunch of things that we were gonna do here in Shreveport, but because the weather forecast says it's basically gonna rain all day, we decided to uh, change plans because this rain is just, it's just too much. So we're actually gonna head east towards Monroe instead and then try to figure out something to do there. <laughs> Poor little Tyson is not having fun in the rain. Who can blame him? He's like a wet rat right now. <laughs> Are you okay? Anyway, okay, so we've made it to um, just outside of Monroe, Louisiana. And uh, we've been following the weather for a minute and it turns out that the rain is just gonna go all night and then into tomorrow. So unfortunately we can't really explore that much of northern Louisiana as we had originally planned. So now we're gonna try to drive, to continue driving east to Vicksburg, Mississippi. And um, apparently there's a gumbo spot there and I'm really excited to eat gumbo. It's okay, boo-boo, it's okay. <laughs> That's the plan, is we're just gonna keep going east to try to get out of the rain, stop and eat gumbo, and then figure out where to sleep from there. Just crossed the border into Mississippi and we're stopped here at the Vicksburg Welcome Center because there's a really cool view of the bridges and uh, I think Bunny might want to go inside too to check to see if they have a patch. Okay, so fun fact, this right here, what we're seeing is the Mississippi River apparently, which I am learning is one of the most heavily trafficked like shipping channels in this country. And apparently this is also the site for many of the uh, battles during the Civil War as well. If you want more of a history lesson, go to Bunny's channel because she'll talk about it more. But it's just really fascinating, isn't it? <laughs> This is really cool, except because of the rain, there are so many bugs and I just want to get away from them. Okay, guess what, good news. The rain has stopped and we're going to Gumbo Pot. Yay! Woo yeah, I'm really hungry. And uh, like Bunny said earlier in her video, hilariously, it's our first Southern, what did you say? It's our first Southern stop. Southern. First Southern stop, woohoo! Probably. So we got a selection of gumbos. Yay! And of course, we both got sweet teas because yes, yay! And let's see. I don't know what is what, but one of these is red beans and rice. One of it is their special gumbo, which is basically like their seafood and chicken gumbo. And then a crawfish etouffee, which I assume is that one. Red nope. Beans and rice Red beans and rice. and rice. And then I don't know what the others are. Yeah. But so excited! Oh, yeah. Okay, we're hanging out in my car tonight. We're camped out at a Cracker Barrel for the evening. Um, just kind of doing our nightly routine of just chilling out in either my car or Bunny's van watching some of our favorite youtubers the good news is so originally it was supposed to rain all night but i guess the forecast says that the rain has cleared so yay 
because last night it was kind of miserable. Boo. <laughs> it was so loud in my van. Yeah, and uh, everything is all like kind of gross in, inside my car right now because I just got like sticky, sticky and there was sand and dirt <laughs> and stuff everywhere. And then Tyson, because he was basically like a wet rat, got. <laughs> Like, all my blankets are just covered in sand and dirt and stuff right now, so that's yeah, fine. but you don't have gators. Okay, yeah, that's true. At so least I don't have positive. gators, yeah. Oh, no I forgot to mention. Yes, and I, I didn't mention this earlier, actually, but when we were staying at the truck stop last night, I guess there was, like, a little ravine area, I'm not sure, behind the truck stop, and when I was taking Tyson out for a walk, there was a sign that said, beware of, like, crocodiles or alligators. <laughs> It was, it was wild. We were in Texas for like 57 hours yeah. and then we finally crossed into Louisiana yeah. and as soon as we did, gators. Gators. <laughs> gators. So on top of the large bugs and other scary things, I also have to worry about gators at truck stops. Not at this Cracker Barrel at least. Nope. This is a gator free zone. Or yeah. so we think. <laughs> Hold on, Boo Boo. Let me just make the bed. There we go. Well, I'm still making the bed. <laughs> here we go. Come over here, please. Come over here. Jump. Good boy. Morning. Hi. <laughs> Let's go to our next adventure. Average cost of $101,808 each. So this huge ship today would be millions. I'm sure. This was in 1862. This is super cool. You can see this tiny little map here. This is the Mississippi River, I guess. And apparently, uh, on December 12th, 1862, while on a mine clearing expedition, the Cairo or Cairo, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, sunk just outside of Vicksburg. But good news, no lives were lost and the crew was recovered by nearby vessels. And they were able to recover the whole thing.
check it out. This sign shows basically a timeline of its history and how many people were on board the USS Cairo and the commanders. Okay, we just attempted to go inside the museum and apparently it's a $25 fee to go in or if you have your national park pass, it's free, which I have it. Apparently when we first came in, the GPS navigation took us the back way. So we were supposed to have paid if we were to go through the front, but we didn't because we went through the back way. Hi, Tyson. So now we're going to drive back up and uh, check in with our national park pass so that I can get a ticket to go inside the museum. Interesting thing, it's not just the, uh, the, the museum that we saw earlier. Turns out the park pass gets you into this entire like national military park. So essentially it's like a, a driving tour and there's all these different stops that you can see and check out. I guess we're gonna go on a driving tour and stop as many stops as we can and learn about a piece of history. So this structure we see before us is the Illinois State Memorial. Today costs more than $4.6 million. Whoa. that they recovered when the USS Cairo was sunk. Um, really, really cool that they were able to recover so many pieces here. Okay, so we just got done with the USS Cairo. I found out I was saying it wrong. It's USS Cairo, not Cairo. But we just got done with the museum and we're pretty much at the end of the military park. So that was really cool. I had a lot of fun. I highly suggest if you're interested in exploring battlefields of any kind to come check this place out. Now it's about, now it's about 4 p.m. I think we're actually gonna head back to the Cracker Barrel we stayed at last night because it's a reliable place to camp and it's already kind of late and we're really hungry, so. But I think I'm gonna end the video here. So thank you guys again for coming along with me and Tyson on today's adventure. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.